Welcome back. As a start, let me recap some info on the Climate Data Store, the CDS. The Climate Data Store is freely available and functions as a one-stop shop to explore climate data. What you see here is a graphical representation of the infrastructure around the CDS. There's a lot of effort being put into the Climate Data Store to make the data interoperable. That means to make all data accessible through one interface, regardless of whether it's data from satellites, climate models, or from weather stations. Hopefully, at some point in time, this will make our lives much easier than with the current system, where each data source has its own interface, licenses, and user requirements. The CDS enables us to access petabytes of data, but download only kilobytes. Data that is or will be available through the Climate Data Store is first of all observational data, which can be either in situ measurements, for example from weather stations, or data derived from satellite products. Observational data is used as input for different kinds of data generated with models, such as reanalysis, seasonal forecasts, and long-term projections. The differences between these data are easily seen when looking at the time spans. Reliable in situ observations have been taken since about 1850, while satellite data are only available for the most recent decades. Climate reanalysis combined past observations with models to generate consistent time series for a large set of climate variables. Reanalysis are, are among the most used data sets in the geophysical sciences, as they enable users to look back in time on the weather for the past 40 years and monitor climate change for, for example, research, education, and commercial applications. Seasonal forecasts combine output from several state-of-the-art seasonal prediction systems, are updated every month, currently on the 13th day at 12 UTC, and cover a time range of six months. Projections of future climate are available for different scenarios for concentrations of greenhouse gases and aerosols, based on outputs from multiple global and regional climate models, usually up to 2100. Finally, sectoral information is given. Here, we aim to provide data, tools and information to support public and private sectors in their climate sensitive decisions. You can learn more about these data sources in their respective lessons available on this platform. And finally, let me give you some more information on the usage of the CDS in its toolbox. The Climate Data Store website provides a graphical user interface to access and download data. What is great is that the CDS also provides an application programming interface, an API, so that your computer can talk directly with the computers of the Climate Data Store. This can speed up things considerably. The toolbox has tools for processing and subsetting data. So if you only need data for, for example, your own country, you can do the subsetting before you download the data, which greatly reduces the amount of data you'll need to download. And similarly, there are tools to provide you with monthly or yearly statistics instead of hourly data. There are a lot of tools for interactive visualization of data, making line plots, box plots, or whatever you want to do. You can do it in the toolbox and it will provide you with interactive maps that you can zoom to your location of interest or change the variable with a simple click. There's also tools for building apps. You can, for example, provide user controls like pull-down menus. You can also do downstream embedding, so you can put the interactive maps in your own website if you want to. The biggest advantage is perhaps that the toolbox provides the same interface for all different data sets that are in the Climate Data Store. A set of example scripts are given in the toolbox editor, so even people with limited experience programming in Python can start using the toolbox right away. You can learn how to register for and start using the toolbox in the lesson on the CDS toolbox. Have fun!